Ashley Barnes at 31 with an option for a third year. Fully expect them to trigger that. Completely expect them to trigger that. Um, Vidra, 29. Again, not, not sure what they'll do there. Dale Stevens at 32. He's one that I would probably expect them to let go on a free. Um, Eric Peters at 32. Pff, not sure on that one. And Phil Bardsley at 36. So, so goalkeeper, obviously a position for years now. Burnley just had great, great options in there, haven't they? Um, with Eaton and then Pope coming in, and you know even like they had Joe Hart as backup and stuff. But you know the, the absolute solidified the number one for Burnley now, Nick Pope, um, the third best keeper in the league last year statistically. Um, really, really good keeper. kind of shows how defensive minded uh, Sean Dyke is obviously um, uh, for their best player to be the goalkeeper um, they've now brought in Wayne Hennessy now Wayne Hennessy has only played three Premier League games in the last two years so that's an interesting one he's 34 now they've also got Bailey Peacock Farrell played 28 games for Leeds in the Championship but then he's gone on to play four games for Burnley in two years which was a really strange move for me um, I, d I don't know why he came to, 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 to Burnley to do that when he's so young and he'd, got, he'd managed to play 28 games in the Championship and I, I always thought he was alright I've got mates that are Leeds fans and they, they're unconvinced by him but I always thought he was alright they'll know more than me but I'm told that he might be going to Wednesday on loan though, so that's potential that he's going to go Wednesday on loan. Um, perhaps they want him to go on loan, get some more football, and then come back. And Wayne Ennis is a stopgap as the number two. I'm guessing that that's the plan. They've also got Will Norris, who's you know not really up to scratch. Um, so that's the goalkeeper situation. I'm guessing backup keeper going on loan, bringing a new backup keeper. So. Makes, makes sense enough, Menace's experience. Definitely, you know, fair enough as a second choice keeper. Centre backs then. So they've got Tarkovsky, Ben Mee, Nathan Collins, who's recently signed, and Kevin Long. And, you know, Burnley play a 4 4 2. They're fairly rigid with the system. They play 4 4 2 week in, week out. Um, Tarkovsky was the eighth best centre back in the league last year, which is fantastic for Burnley. Ben Mee was the 12th best centre back in the league last year. Again, fantastic. So I can't see Nathan Collins coming in even for 12 million and usurping either of them. He's, I think he's only 20, but he is a 6 foot 4 big centre back. Seems like he's one for the future. They might give him some game time this year. And they've, kept, they've got Kevin Long as backup as well. He plays the odd game. You know, I'm sure that they'll keep on. Squad as backup, um, but yeah, it seems like that they'll probably give him some game time. Nathan Collins, you don't want to be bringing him for that much money and not play him at all. But but yeah, um, with them only having four centre backs, I don't think that he's been brought in for a change in system in any way. And we know that Sean Dyke loves uh, loves the four at the back. Right back then, they've got uh, they've got Matt Loughton, um, who was the eighteenth best right back. Isn't the best player, but for Burnley he's solid. They've got Phil Bardsley as backup. I don't expect to see any movement on on a right on the right back situation for Burnley this summer. Left back they've got Charlie Taylor and Eric Peters. Charlie Taylor played the, the most matches for them, and Eric Peters was backup, but he did play a fair few. Charlie Peters was the the fifteenth best left back in the league statistically last year, um, and Eric Peters is. is this year, again, I, I can't see them upgrading the left-back position.
sent them mid then and then they sent them mid to an interesting one. So they've got five players really who can play there. They've got Josh Benson, who played a couple of games last year for them, um, coming up from the academy. Um, you know, he trains with the first team squad, but I don't expect him to get too much game time, Josh Benson. But you never know, Burnley do promote from the academy and they've been great at that, so maybe he will get more game time this year. They've also got Dale Stevens and Jack Cork. be kept this summer I'm sure of it as experience uh, and then they have Ashley Westwood who was the 33rd best centre midfielder uh, statistically uh, last year and Josh Brownhill who was the 21st best centre mid last year and you know that, that that's decent numbers 21st centre mid because you know as we know most most teams have two and therefore you know that, that therefore that, that bumps you up the pecking order in terms of overall um, It's an interesting position for me. Um, I, d I do think that's an area that they could look to improve on. Um, however, who Burnley would bring in, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Really, who you, who you could see Burnley going for? They of course do like to bring players in from the Championship. Burnley play four four two, so whoever comes in needs to be absolutely, you know, completely hard working box to box can get a foot in it can try and get forward a little bit as well um, has, to, has to have a ton of energy um, yeah it, it, it'd be interesting to see who they would look to go for there but I don't think they will I don't think Burnley will but for me I think that they, they should look to um, and then right wing so this is probably the area where they really do need to look to upgrade so they've got Gun Gunmanson it was the 25th best right winger last year in the league. Um, not not great. They had Robbie Brady who played a few games there, but obviously they let him go. Brownhill can play there, but they want him in centre mid. You would assume letting Robbie Brady go, they're looking to bring somebody in. Now, they have been rumoured with Mark Albrighton. Obviously, Albrighton's 31 now, but if I've ever seen a player that's made for Burnley on the, as a wide player to be all bright and just loves to whip the ball in you can imagine him whipping balls in for, for Chris Wood um, you know if they can get him even maybe even on a free go and get him go and get him yeah for me all bright and even at 31 would be an upgrade on Goodmanson and that would be very Burnley-esque business you know I think I think that would be a really good signing for Burnley I do um, so yeah go and get him Left wing, they've got Dwight McNeil, who again is one of their the jewels in their crown. Um, the thirteenth best left winger last last year in the league. You know, I think I think he's a decent player coming through the academy. Um, they love him, obviously. I can't see them upgrading there. Um, Rob Brady played there a few times. Peters can fill in there, but you'd have to think that again that they'd be looking to bring in some backup now that they've let Brady go. Um, so they are they are linked with a player called Maxwell Corne from Lyon, who has played as a left back um, for them mostly, but he has in his career played as a winger on both sides. So maybe they're looking to bring in Corne as well, potentially as backup for Dwight McNeil. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but that would that would certainly make sense. Um, that 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 would make sense. Uh, and maybe it's even competition for some of their wingers. Um, that's an interesting one. An interesting one. I'm not sure what they'll what they'll do there. Then up there up front they've got Chris Wood, um, Ashley Barnes, Petra, and Jake Rodriguez. So they go with classic sort of four strikers in the squad, two playing at all times. Um, Petra and Rodriguez are the primary backup. Um, Ashley Barnes was the 24th best striker in the league last year, which is and obviously he suits Burnley's style of play down to a T and Chris Wood you know I'm pleased for Chris Wood really started to come good last season didn't he 21st best striker in the league which is decent enough um, I can't see them upgrading on the striker next year I don't think they'll do that this for, the, for this for this summer I'm not sure that that's something they'll, they'll prioritise I think they're definitely going to prioritise bringing in a right winger they've already brought in Nathan Collins at centre back they've brought in a backup keeper you know you, you'd probably expect that to be it for Burnley they, they, they survive on a shoestring budget whether 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 um, Sean Dyke can work wonders again on that will have to be seen 
last one, but yeah. Um, what they need to do desperately, and their best signing of the summer, would be to get Tarkovsky signed up to a new deal. Now at 28, I have a sneaky suspicion that Tarkovsky may look to, um, may look to actually run his contract down. Also, Ben Me and Barnes, I would really, really do whatever they can to get new contracts for those guys in as well. But, you know, guys, not too much. 